when I come in and use my feet, the thing you have to be careful of is where you're putting pressure. Because you're dealing with all these little bones, little ligaments in the hand and across the wrist, you don't want to misstep, put too much pressure and cause some sort of damage. So you're gonna to have to go very slowly to be able to go in and put pressure here. So what I'm gonna do is I have to find really good solid foundation on my, my left leg so I can step in with my right. And instead of stepping in just with a flat foot, a lot of what I'm doing is, is I'm trying to find the ball of my foot right in that phenar. Do you see how I'm kind of like dancers footing it? Like I'm, I'm coming in just trying to feel right there. I'm trying to feel movement in the carpals in the hand and see if, what do you think? Right there? Is that too much? No. Okay, now in my case, I can probably maintain this and here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come down and then I'm gonna press in the forearm with my hand. How's that? Wrong button. There it is, just come on. We went to exit 12 real fast. <laughs> <laughs> so I can press into the bicep I can also get into the anterior deltoid. Now, the challenge from this point is if I'm doing this and I've got two points of contact and I say, hey, is it too much pressure? She doesn't know what I'm asking for. I have a tendency to move and go, listen, is it too much pressure there or is it too much pressure there? Oh, it's great. It's great both on both. Places, okay. Yeah. So I'm, so I'm going to continue to work that because she thought that was good, said that felt nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, how's your arm right there? Good. Oh, oh, it's still tight, but oh. it's good. It's way better than what it was Monday. So when I'm reaching up over the shoulder, you're getting into the deltoids, mainly that anterior deltoid, the red there. And then I was also getting into the bicep and the tricep. The bicep and the tricep, we all know where the, the guns are, right? Your, your, your pythons, right? So you can go in and work on bicep and tricep while they're in this position, but you're just coming in and applying a little bit of pressure right through here, right over the, the shoulder there. How's that? That's good. Good. Is it too much down here? No. Okay. And that sort of additional feedback, is it too much there? No. It, it's kinesthetic. In other words, they can feel it instead of me asking, an intellectual question, like is it more at the hand, is it more there, is it more there? Then they have to think about it. <laughs> yeah. Like, wait, what? what's my hand? I don't think. And then from here, I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna back off a little bit, see if I can give her a little bit of traction, a little bit of length, and sliding out to each finger, doing two at a time. Right through there. And I appreciate that you're working the muscles. You're not trying to pop my fingers. Like if they do pop, it's natural. Yeah. I hate when therapists pop my fingers or toes. They do it all the time? I hate it. Interesting. Not all the time, but I've had it done and I'm like, ugh, don't pop me. Gross. And when I'm doing this, you see how it's just body weight, just like, like leaning back? I actually, my shoulder clunk, got like a loud cavitation yeah. because I was just leaning back and tractioning my own, my own arm and shoulder blade. He's cheating and working on himself. I'm cheating. So for you, what do you think? More extensors or more flexors? Uh, maybe extensors. Extensors a little bit? Okay. So this for me, I tell people is some of the most boring body work ever. This is the stuff that every time I do it, I go, man, this really rocks, but this is just boring. And here's why. I'll stack my body weight and from my shoulder down, there's no oil. So I'm trying to go inordinately slow. And if I want to increase the pressure, I bring my shoulder up that way. If I want to decrease the pressure, I bring it back this way. But I can usually get it at just the right angle where there's this sweet spot, where there's enough skin oil so I can start to move like snail's pace right up the forearm extensors. Then I can have her do mean stuff like, hey, type for me, which is activating those forearm extensors there. 